welcome back to my channel and as I have said in other previous videos I will be doing a video about bathing a pygmy hedgehog and today I'm going to be bathing Oliver and I'm going to show you how I bath my hedgehog. Many people will do it in different ways in the sink, in the in the kitchen sink or in the bath. I actually um, as I mentioned before, it converts into the wash bowl and this is what I will be using to wash Oliver inside and I have filled this up with some nice lukewarm water, you know, temperature that you would bath a newborn baby in so that it doesn't um, scold him um, or damage him in any way. So, and then I don't um, put it in, um, I only put it to a low level so that he, enough for him to stand in. So, so I'm just going to slowly get him out. He won't like it because obviously it's in the daytime, time when he's sleeping, so. And gently get him out. And I'll make sure that he's nice and relaxed first. So if you can see from his feet there, they are dirty, so he's in need of a, a bath. So I'm just gonna gently pop him in. I'll just get him in there and he'll have a little play and then he will and all the dirt hopefully will just come off his nails in that nice warm water there and I will use like a coconut wash and um, wash his quills because when he's in the wheel obviously he's rotating which would not happen if he's in the wild and then the dirt will just go back onto his quills so we're just going to clean his quills with a toothbrush and just very gently so I just brush his quills like that hold him if he needs me to hold him he's obviously oh, every day is a different day sometimes he just sits there and lets me do it like he is now um, so the struggle's over. And then what I will do as well is that I will also put a little bit on the toothbrush and I'll just clean his feet because the nails, they're in his nails and it's very hard to get them out by just putting them into the water or even doing it with your hands. So I'd very gently just clean his little nails. Make sure all the dirt is off him. His back feet there. And the last foot here. There. Come on, Oliver. So I'm just making sure his um, feet are all clean and they look like nice and pink now from what you saw before. bit of soap on my hands like this and I'll clean his stomach with that because it's nice and soft so I just want to clean his belly area so 
So he's all nice and soapy and all his stomach's all nice and clean. He's all pinky. Hello, Oliver. Hello, Oliver. You just have Okay, Oliver. We're nearly done. Yeah. So anyway, when I've cleaned him like this and he's all full of soap at the moment, I have to rinse him off. So I just pop him onto the towel. There we go. There we go. All soapy. So I'm just going to drain all the water out. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back now and I'm just going to place him back into the bowl. And the bowl doesn't have any watering now. So, and then I'm going to use my jug and I've just got again some nice lukewarm water in there and I'm just going to rinse it off. Let me hold him while we do that. There, and you can see, if you look in the water, you can see all the soap. Rinse his little belly side. There, there we go, and back, pop him back into the towel, and then I just cover him like that until he's all nice and relaxed. And then when he's all nice and relaxed and dry, I'm going to pop him in his snug and with his heat pad, and hopefully he will have a nice sleep, relaxing sleep. So I did forget to mention that sometimes after he's had a bath, I give him some mealworms, um, which is a nice treat for him, so he relates it at bath time to a good thing. Placing down, he'll just smell it. And as you can see, his feet are lovely and clean now, and also his nails. And hopefully soon I will be um, clipping his nails, um, as I showed you again from a previous video of the equipment of hedgehogs, what you need for a hedgehog. Um, so if you want to go and see that video, um, I showed you the clips that I bought from Amazon and in another video, upcoming video, I will be clipping those nails and showing you that video as well. So I have just, he's just had his bath, I've given him a few um, live mealworms, I hope you saw that and yes, he has got used to the live mealworms now and he's eating them no problem. So I've just um, remember again what you need for a hedgehog, I showed you about the heat pad that I bought for him. So I can't, the smell of lavender is lovely. So I've just heated it up in the microwave and that lavender smell is everywhere. Um, so I'm going to put it back in its cover because you're not meant to put the cover in the microwave. So I'm gonna put it into his cover now. Like that. And then I'm going to let him sleep with this and it's so flexible and it's so squidgy is what I like about it. It's so squidgy, this thing, that you can put it anywhere, even into his snug. It just, and it's so, like, got little, like, wheat in there. So it's nice and flexible. It's what I love about it. And it's lovely and warm. I'm warming my hands up already. So it's just, like I said, when you have a nice bath, you want to be nice and cosy. So heated his heat pad up, going to place it into his snug there, where he's all lovely. Can't wait to be in his nice heat pad now and let him have a nice sleep. So let's do that now. He's not gonna be happy. I'm getting him out again, but when he feels that heat pad, so let's get his heat pad in there and get him in there. 
So, um, so he's in there now with his um, heat pad and I'm just going to let him go to sleep. Um, cuddle up himself and go to sleep. So, good night Oliver. I'll let you sleep now. So I hope you enjoyed that video and yes Oliver has taken to the live mealworms which I'm really happy about so he's got that in his diet now. Um, I hope that you found the video useful. Um, I also wanted to mention that the I did mention something about the wash bowl converting into a litter tray and if you do not know what I'm talking about I have a video with a bucket wheel and I actually show the, the, the wash bowl that converting into a litter tray um, so if you want to see that it's in that video but you know that's it for now so please like and subscribe and any comments please post them down below and thank you for watching.